Tesla's Optimus Gen 2.5 showed how quickly a humanoid can evolve when end-to-end -end learning takes over, and Figure 03 proved that expressive, high-precision motion is no longer limited to research labs. But now, a new challenger from China is entering the scene with a very different engineering philosophy. Engine AI has officially revealed the T-800, a humanoid built with unmistakable inspiration from the Terminator. Hey guys, welcome to NextGen AI. Today we're taking a closer look at the T-800, the robot engine AI has been building toward for over a year. What immediately stands out about the T-800 is the body design. And yes, the name is absolutely intentional. Engine AI didn't pick T-800 for attention. The team chose it because the fictional T-800 represented something specific, a humanoid structure built for strength, balance, and clean mechanical control. Engine AI isn't recreating a movie cyborg, but the engineering logic is similar. The robot uses aviation-grade aluminum to stay rigid without adding unnecessary weight, and the proportions match adult human geometry for a reason. Agile locomotion becomes far easier when the body matches human biomechanics. The inspiration comes from cinema, but the execution is grounded in robotics. The real shift begins when the T-800 starts moving. A lot of humanoids still rely on bent knee, walking to stay stable. The T-800 avoids that entire posture. Engine AI is aiming for straighter leg walking, something humans do naturally but robots rarely achieve because it requires rapid, micro-level joint corrections. Every adjustment in the ankles, knees, and hips is calculated in real time. That's why the T-800's gait looks more natural than the typical robotic shuffle. And that's only the foundation. The T-800 can also execute spinning transitions and controlled rotations that most robots struggle with. Inside the joints, the power is serious. Each actuator can output up to 450 newton meters of torque, which is a lot for a humanoid of this size. That torque gives the T-800 strong striking potential and the ability to absorb impacts without buckling. But extreme torque introduces a classic engineering problem, heat. Motors pushing this much force usually overheat fast, forcing robots to slow down or pause. Engine AI chose a different solution. Instead of relying on passive cooling, they engineered an active cooling system directly into the leg joints. This prevents thermal throttling and keeps performance consistent even during heavy motion. Combined with a solid-state lithium battery, safer and more stable than traditional setups, the T-800 can operate for nearly four hours straight without needing a break. This leads to a bigger question, why build a humanoid with this level of force and agility? Engine AI's answer is simple. Stress reveals weaknesses quickly. Slow walking won't expose design flaws. Fast pivots will. Dynamic motion will. Unpredictable scenarios will. And that's exactly why this next part matters. On December 24th, the T-800 will compete in Mecha King, the world's first full-scale humanoid robot combat competition. These aren't lightweight prototypes. Each T-800 weighs about 75 kilograms, moves with human-like motion, and is guided by a human operator handling strategy while the robot performs the physical execution. Engine AI is also opening parts of the control software so teams can customize their robots for the event. This isn't just for spectacle, it's engineering under pressure. High-intensity environments expose problems early, and solving them leads to better, more reliable robots. The fictional T-800 was imagined as a machine made for combat. Engine AI is exploring a realistic, safe, controlled version of that idea. Do you think the T-800 is ready to stand beside robots like Optimus Gen 2.5 and Figure 03, or does it still need more real-world testing? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And here's something many people miss. The T-800 didn't appear out of nowhere. Engine AI has been building toward this level since the company launched. Founded in October 2023 in Shenzhen by Zhao Tongyang, the team has moved at an unusually fast pace. 
With around 36 specialists from UC Berkeley, Tsinghua, and other top institutions, plus more than $42 million in funding, including major Middle Eastern investment, Engine AI plans to manufacture over 1,000 humanoids a year by the end of 2025. Their earlier robots show exactly how they got here. The SA-01, released in July 2024, was their entry-level platform a $5,300 learning robot meant for students and research labs. It wasn't built for heavy work. It was designed to gather real-world data early in the company's development cycle. Then came the SE-01 in October 2024. Standing 165 centimeters tall and weighing 48 kilograms, it gained national attention after demonstrating smooth walking during the Chinese New Year Gala. With a 320-degree twisting waist and an AI-driven gait system enabling long, confident steps, the SE-01 proved that Engine AI could build a humanoid with genuinely natural motion. The price, around $20,000, shocked the industry. If you're enjoying the breakdown, don't forget to subscribe. NextGen AI covers every major breakthrough in humanoid robotics. In December 2024, Engine AI launched the PM01, shorter at 138 centimeters and 40 kilograms. It introduced hot swap batteries, dual computing systems, Intel N97 Plus NVIDIA Orin, and speeds up to 2 meters per second. In February 2025, it landed the world's first humanoid front flip using reinforcement learning trained in NVIDIA Isaac Gym. But the biggest surprise came next. Starting February 2025, Shenzhen police began using the PM01 for patrol support. Wearing a reflective vest and LED eyes, the robot walked with officers, guided tourists, helped locate missing children, and streamed live video back to command centers. It wasn't autonomous. Engineers monitored each deployment, but it proved that Engine AI's robots were built to function outside laboratory conditions. Zoom out, and you see a much larger shift. China is advancing humanoid robotics at a speed the rest of the world is racing to match. Humanoid robots have even been added to China's official government work report. Multiple companies, Ubtech, Xiaomi, Fourier Intelligence, Robot Era, and more, are developing humanoids simultaneously. Analysts expect China's embodied AI market to reach $120 billion by 2030. Engine AI isn't the biggest player yet, but its rapid development cycle and hardware-focused strategy make it one of the most aggressive challengers. If Engine AI keeps pushing like this, who do you think will evolve faster? Figure 03, Optimus Gen 2.5, or the T-800?